it changes things. It's like a performative conversation now. Yeah. John, tell, tell me, tell me about yourself. What is that? A couple of things for real. You just got a bunch of mics there. Please speak into the microphone. Hi, Mark. What do you want to know? Um, how, how, how are you doing? Are you, are you staying busy? Are people buying things still? Nobody's oh. buying stuff, right? Oh, yeah, so, uh, people are buying. There's a high demand for things, uh, but I have a low amount of time. A lesser. Uh, uh, thank you. Right up there. You're oh, right in the nose in the schnoz. There's less time to put the things in boxes and label them. How do you have less time? I have a wife who works and there's no school we have a child oh, so i'm now a, a child yeah i'm school it was the caterpillar unit we made a caterpillar one second i'll show it to you oh uh there were two attempts at a face here there's the face do you see it is that, is that watercolor? Yeah, we got a lot of watercoloring oh, happening. Boy. I thought we'd get fancy with this frilly, kind of fuzzy caterpillar oh, thing. Wow. Nice. But then it turns out we don't. The real problem right now is um, the mail. And so we ordered these child friendly scissors three weeks ago, and they're still not here. And we reordered them last week because it's like the most tragic thing all she wants is the scissors so it's like are the scissors here today and we just have these super sharp scissors so i'm doing this tick, 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 with the scissors and she's like let me do it i'm like no, no i don't mind her doing the big things so we got mark hill in the kitchen today <laughs> mark is uh renowned as the the og films that's right what is that mic, that white mic you got? It's a microphone that Bryden Gallhart, shout out Bryden Gallhart, gave me. I had an idea, what? Uh, which was to get, like, I don't, I, I never had a percussion studio. Uh-huh. But I know all these people, like this guy <laughs> mentioned me. I don't know who that is. Here he goes again. Get, like, what did he say? Oh, this one for sure. Like, just read. Anyway, so I know a lot of people know me, not for any reason. I have no idea why they would be like, oh, let me friend this guy. You're the gorilla that plays the bass. Not even. They, wouldn't, they, don't, they do not know why they think they know me, I'm sure. So today I decided my claim to fame was going to be the guy who compiled the list of four octave marimba literature. Oh, that guy. Yeah, like oh, that guy God. who has the... Uh, college teaching job website oh uh audition house percussion house cafe it's somebody else but they're all the same it's like you got you have to have like a a, a page on your website that everybody identifies like they don't know that you can make spaghetti <laughs> but they know that you have a web page with one page which tells you like the code to bride in guardwell's house you know do you can you make spaghetti i can sure but I prefer penne or oh, yeah, yeah. rigatoni. Uh, what, what were you saying? Something about... Your mic. Your mic stand. It's a big insecurity of mine. What You had that thing just suspended in midair. No. Uh, Is your original sound on? My original sound? Oh, it's not on, actually. Here, let me turn on. I'm so sorry. Do we have to start over? Do you want to... Welcome to the kitchen, oh, Mark yeah, yeah. Hill, everybody. And then I'll oh, like I'll put some applause on there. Can we cla can we clap sync, clap sync, really quick. Three, two, one. All right, yeah, got it. Good. Tell us, this is this is about uh, this is the way a lot of my viewership. I we get about thirteen, and I'm thirteen an episode. Don't. <laughs> I got a banana for you right here. Oh, oh, you want a smoothie yogurt? I'm gonna need a beer. This is like. No. Also, we weren't Lacroix, Lacroix people. What is this? I'm gonna defriend that guy. So, Mar everybody, give it up for Mark Hill. Tell us, Mark, what? 
What? What? Are you? Was that a cough? No, 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 never. How are you feeling these days? It sucks. Put you just keep your sweaters and stuff on like a rack, a gong rack. But no, that's a that's a clothing rack. So they're aired out. Well, it's a kind of a hip thing to do now, to uh, have your clothes, even though you have a closet, have a clothes rack with your clothes hanging outside of the closet. This begs the question, what is in your closet? Um, there's more clothes. I have a thing called a, uh, Scooby? Is it a a scr scrummy from Ikea that holds my 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 uh underclothings and then the rest of it is full of drums and shit are you gonna buy jeans drums Wh which ones he has some drums he's selling but he's probably he's trying to sell his house and like that no, he is trying to sell his house are you gonna buy jeans house seems cold now that we're recording let's talk about your audition at university oh my god We'll edit this out. JK, we don't even need to talk about it so you don't have to lose sleep because I probably wouldn't edit it out. I don't uh, trust that you would, but I don't know if I care. Oh, we have to keep things positive. Let's start this one again. That way I know to edit from there. All right, clap, clap sync. We got Three, two, one. I felt good about that. We got Mark Hill in the kitchen today. Tell us, Mark, you have now what is it, five or six years later? From what? From when you were OG film, Films. Yeah. You're slowly becoming less cool. Well, what what happened, John? Look at that sweater. Can you just, can I bother you to, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognize this image, John? Oh, big time. Corey reached out to me. I was like, I don't even know how to respond to that. Why is there a beer sitting up on a xylophone? That was amateur hour plus, and not for nothing, but that was a great accomplishment in my existence. Okay, welcome to the kitchen, Mark Hill. We have, a, I got a big question. What, 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 what's happening with that sweater over there? So that sweater, um, my best friend bought me that sweater from this store. It's a boutique. You got those. You're in New York City. We used to. You well, yeah, they're all gone now. Keep it positive, I, Mark. Sorry. Yeah, we remember boutiques? Those Vintage boutiques. Vintage. That's exactly what it was. Is this guy? Can we see it? To, oh, yeah. Yeah, we could see it. Some golfers. The light's not great. Some golfers doing some golf. It's the same on the back. What does it smell like? Well, I got this uh, laundry detergent, Gain. I don't know if you've heard of it. Have you heard of this, Gain? Heard of it. There was a while where I thought I was starting to get like athlete's foot or something, or my feet were starting to be cheesy. I started to think, oh man, my feet might be getting cheesy. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I realized that the Gain that I was using- to You're allergic to it. Clothes, no, no. It just smelled so, and I would take my sock off and I'd be like, what the hell is that smell? You were soapy. Yeah. But Which brings me to my next question. You're the guy with the, tw w tell me about, tell me about it. Cause I, at this point I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to send me just the MP4 or whatever. I'll put it right uh -huh. there. Cause people are gonna be watching this and they'll still be watching and not knowing why they're watching. And then they're gonna see that and they're like, that's it. There will always be a special place in my heart for the movie musical and for the songs that create their most memorable moments. Here to perform the Oscar-nominated, gorgeously empowering song, Let It Go, from the Oscar-winning animated movie, Frozen, please welcome the wickedly talented, the one and only, Adil Dazeem. Tell me, how did that, tell me everything about that. About, about what? What, what do you think I'm talking about? This would be like calling Kanye and being like, hey, I just wanted to ask you about something. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I'm talking about. And he would say, no. And then you'd go, and he would say, oh, right. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I don't think this is the same as. Should we uh, get Kanye on the line? Uh, do you have his number? I don't. Synchronize clap. Three, three, two, one. So we got Mark Hill here, and Mark Hill's in the kitchen. He's about to talk us through his microviral. I think we're in the era of microvirality. Yeah. You used to be like, I need a million hits to be like, oh, now you get six, six and you're there. Four. Yeah. So you did it. What? Tell me, walk me through this. Well, um... Bronson just said, I would join you, but I'm at a funeral reception, LOL. I don't think that's appropriate. I'm going to be honest. What if I tell him the co it's about the copper drums? I, I'm not in on that on that bit you guys got going, but... Okay, hold on. So, what, what, talk me through the, talk me through it. Well. I have to say one of the fun things about being in your house, just. Oh yeah. Have you ever uh, sneezed and tried to keep your mouth open the whole time and like vocalize as much as you can? You just end up like yelling. It's, it's really good. I recommend next time you sneeze, just. Don't even ch, no ch sound, just, ah, you know. <laughs> My dad sounds, he goes, Arish! maybe that's right. probably related. He has a huge nose. Do you think that has something to do with it? The Aish, probably. I'm not a doctor, but I think nose is cl pretty close to where you sneeze from. There you go. That's what social media is good for. Like things, starting sentences like, I'm not a doctor, but... So tell us then what's happened. So you got that Travolta thing happening. What did? Were you overwhelmed by the response? I've been trying to be funny on Twitter recently. Oh. Not not a whole lot. I'm not on Tweet Tweet, but I think I can probably get in on this. You, you can figure it out. You got 128 hearts and 30 arrows and two comments. You got people like Lauren T, I'm Golden God, Trisha. <laughs> I was really stoked when I saw uh, Trisha had commented. Quarantine Kristen, I thought, oh man, you need to know some internet speak to keep up with this. Daddy Issues by the Neighborhood and Daughters by John Mayer, same exact theme, inverse energies. What's the takeaway? The takeaway is uh, it's not going to get any better than that, and that's a good place to stop, I think. So what's next? Uh, nothing. This is useless. Thank you, guys. I'm glad. Okay, bye. I gotta go to the. Do you want to come to the class? Uh, no, I. I'm. I'm very busy. I have many things to do. <laughs> okay.